Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for the dailysheeple.com and this is your new shot. Well, stick a porcupine up my ass and call me prickly heat. We're still here and it's September the 26th. Oh, yet another doomsday prediction fail. Oh, but wait. All hope is not lost. Doomsday, according to CBS Philly, has been rescheduled. That's right. The <clears throat> researcher moves the end of the world to October. <laughs> Says after September 23rd came and went, without a rogue planet crashing into the Earth, some might think Christian numerologist David Mead would be out of the doomsday prediction business. No, because see, people like him just can't stop. They can't stop. It's too bad, too. You know, because I'm sure he's very well intentioned. But, you know, we got to we gotta be real. Not just to what the Bible says, for those that have read the Bible and, and try to understand it and live their life the best way they can. The Bible's pretty clear. We don't know the day or the hour. The only person or entity that knows is the Father himself, God, the Creator. That's it. So it's pretty cut and dry. You know? So a good rule of thumb is to not take anything for granted, to love each other, do the best we can, be the best people we can be, and one day we're going to die, and, or the end comes. Until that point in time, what good is it going to do worrying about the end? If you live your life the way that you should, well then, hey, you got nothing to be worried about. You know, if you want to embark upon a life of debauchery and everything else and think that in the last minute, you can just poof, oh, everything's okay now. Well, probably not going to happen. Probably not going to happen. You know? And, hey, all I can say is live and let live. To each their own. But don't go filling people's heads full of these fake dates and get them all worked up. And then and then add Planet X into it. Because, you know, look it. I can, I've got a tinfoil hat that rivals the very largest, most elaborate tinfoil hat out there. And I can tell you that when you can only see a giant brown dwarf on YouTube then there's a serious problem with Planet X. I'm just saying, okay? You'd think that out of the thousands upon thousands of amateur re, uh, astronomers all over the globe, that there would just be one, one credible picture of this giant brown dwarf. Now, do I say it doesn't exist? No. It could very well exist, but I think all the hubbub is unfounded, and it's a lot of uh, something about nothing. So now that Saturday has passed, David Mead has reportedly revised his schedule for the planet's last day. Now, the controversial doomsayer claims his September 23rd prediction was, ah, it was misinterpreted, and that the world will actually end at some point starting in October. Hmm. Okay, so now you know you you done it wrong, trying to pinpoint a day. Bad, bad, bad. And now you're just going to say, well, no, nah, I had it all wrong. It's actually sometime in October. <clears throat> of which, of course, you know, you know the seven-day, seven-year, yada, yada, world, you know, tribulation period ends. Look at that's a whole other ball of wax you could get into. The whole, you know, tribulation and the, the <clears throat> rapture. Yeah. That that whole thing, you're talking about the doctrine of men. Dogma, if you will. Again, if you live a good life, love your neighbor. Treat people the way you want to be treated. That's all you got to do. If you can just do that, the world would change overnight and you wouldn't need to have an end of the world 
There would be no end of the world. Why, humanity would work together. It would, we'd have a solution for just about everything. If we could just love each other and respect one another. That's really all it takes. You don't need these bombastic end of the world prophecies that are just going to, you know, they're, what do you, they are what they are. They're fear-mongering clickbait. Call a spade a spade. But this year, you know, this is totally un- unnecessary. And might I add, it does detriment to tinfoil hatters out there that are really, truly trying to get to the bottom of this, you know, this construct and all the conspiracies that plague humanity. We're really trying to get, the, and here we go, the one bad egg that spoils the dozen. See, it doesn't take many. All it takes is a couple of uh, people to do things like this, and it just ruins it for everybody, you know? So, folks, don't get your heart set on any dates. Like I said, live life, treat people the way you want to be treated, and love one another. And if you can do that, it doesn't matter when the end comes, because you're going to be ready. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's new shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day.